Hi, how again, are sir? you? Hey, you guys. Very well, sir. Good, good. So, you're an American man jumping into a very English, very English feeling yes. film. Yes. Was that uh, ever a sort of difficult? Well, I'm actually Australian. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you're the first person that's asked me that. Um, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, Hammer has a uh, presence in the United States and um, I work out of, out of Hollywood and had been looking to do something with Simon and Hammer and Tobit and the guys at Exclusive for quite a while and this script came across my desk. Uh, and I really took to it and thought it had quite a bit of potential. So that's kind of why there's an American uh, that's involved with this uh, incredible um, uh, British uh, legacy. Uh, and I feel very fortunate to be part of that. Um, originally, the script was not set in England. Um, but I felt that because this was a, a Hammer movie uh, and uh, I loved the sort of the gothic creepiness of Oxford, I felt like um, uh, it was a good idea to set it here and uh, Oren Moverman also had done some work in the script where he sort of pushed the script towards England and it felt like its natural home. So that's how we ended up here. But obviously you use the 16 millimeter first person device. What does that bring to the picture? Well. Um, Frankly, that was the biggest challenge, uh, to try to integrate um, found footage into more of a narrative storytelling mode. Uh, and so for me, what it brings to the movie is an accented point of view where you really empathize with Sam's character. Um, and we tried to create a visual grammar where we teach the audience how to get into his point of view so that by the end of the movie, when we're in our found footage mode, particularly in the attic, uh, we're fully immersed and we, aren't, we aren't, aren't pushed out of the movie because suddenly we're switching back and forth. It's trying to be seamless. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much.